Hi everybody, welcome to Frontend News. Hello guys, we are so happy to see you again. What's up Bartek? How do you feel today? Um, <laughs> quite well, you know. <laughs> and you? How uh, is your mood? I'm okay, I'm really okay. I'm a winner today. Today? Why? I'm just feeling good today. I finally ca uh, caught that summer wipe you? and I wanted to say that it is finally good weather, but today we have a rain and cold. <laughs> but you know, the holidays are closer. Yeah, I, I'm thinking about my vacation and it is in two months <laughs> or more. <laughs> okay. But I'm already ready to go. <laughs> it's, you know, important to think about it every day and you will, you know... <laughs> yeah, it's uh, part somehow. of meditation. Yeah. Just uh, picture it and... So, uh, yoga every day? Yeah, before yoga. Before you start working? Yeah, sure. Healthy breakfast, meditation, uh, jogging, what else? Something yeah. very healthy. So, remember guys, it's always important to keep your life healthy. And, and, and lie. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> lie. Lie a lot. <laughs> and lie in front of the camera. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so uh, what do we have for today? Uh, for today we prepared four news in our today's agenda and we're gonna make a quick overview over them. The first point from our today's list will be new JavaScript features in ECMAScript 2023. The next thing we're going to talk about is Next.js 13.4. Then we're gonna speak about Firefox version 113. And then Babylon JS version 6.0. So let's get started. Yeah. First point from our list today is a quick overview about new proposals that are about to be applied regarding 2023 annual update to ECMAScript, which is planned for July 2023 approximately. The first one is symbols as weak map keys. Uh, this proposal ex extends the weak map API to allow usage of unique symbols as keys. Symbol is the only primitive in ECMAScript that allows unique values. The value by calling symbol expression can be identified then to access its original produc production. But any reproduction of the same expressions will not restore the original value of any previous production. Objects are used as keys for weak maps because they share the same identity aspect. So symbols as weak maps will make it easier to create and share keys because instead of requiring creating a new object to be only used as a key, it would provide more clarity for the ergonomics of a weak map and the proper roles of its keys and mapped items. Two other proposals coming up with ECMAScript update is about improving working with arrays, uh, avoiding the need to write functions and loop over data to process it. So we have change array by copy method, which gives developers new methods for sorting, reversing and overwriting data without mutating the array it's stored in. This proposal lets developers call a method to change a single element in the array and get a new array with that single change, or sort and reverse an array into a fresh array but leave the original array unmodified. The next method is array find from last. It's, as the name says, returning matching elements in arrays starting at the end and working back. It can improve performance and for sure save writing extra code. If it comes to big arrays, uh, you don't have to look through the whole thing or reverse it before you look it up so you don't have to make temporary duplicates. There are also plenty of proposals like iterator helpers and de decorators. You can check the full list by following the link attached in the video description. And what we have next? Next, we have next <laughs> JS. <laughs> so another topic for today, which we're gonna speak it out about is a 13.4 version of Next.js, which is marking stability for the app router and mainly focuses on that improvement. It basically means that the app router can now be adapted as stable for production. There are plenty of improvements and features regarding React server components, nested routes and layouts, simplified data fetching, streaming and suspense, built-in set support and more things like 
Turbo Pack, Beta version and server actions released in the alpha stage. We're gonna make a real quick overview about some of the things. This new router, uh, which can be incrementally adapted through the app and directory, has an entirely different architecture built on the foundation of React server components and Suspense. This foundation has allowed us to remove Next.js specific APIs that were initially developed to extend the React prim primitives. With the new app router, server components are not included in JavaScript bundle for the browser. Client components are automatically code split by default, either with Webpack or TurboPack in Next.js. Further, since the entire router architecture is streaming and suspense enabled, we can progressively send parts of the UI from the server to the client. What is more, with the app router, you no longer need to import HTML, head and body from Next.js. Instead, you just use React. The router is the core of what makes Next.js JS work, but it's uh, now about the router itself, but how it integrates the rest of the pieces of the frameworks, like data fetching. You can read more about uh, latest upgrades in the official Next.js website post, which is linked in the video description here. The third news from our list is the 113 version of the Firefox. We have plenty of new things, changes, fixes and improvements. From developer's perspective, it is now possible to overwrite a JavaScript file in the debugger. In the debugger, under the sources tree, you can use the add script override option from the context menu entry. This action will download the file onto your machine, allowing you to edit it. Also, there have been a few improvements to the debuggers search in files feature. So the panel has been moved to a regular site panel, which allows to keep the results list visible while opening scripts in the editor and results from minified and pretty printed tabs, as well as matches from the node modules folder are being displayed there. Also results from ignored files are hidden and glob patterns and search modifiers are also supported, making it impossible to execute case sensitive or regex searches on specific parts of your project. What is more, Firefox 113 comes up with redesigned accessibility engine, which significantly improves the speed, responsiveness and stability of Firefox when used with screen readers as well as certain other accessibility software. So we have their East Asian input methods, enterprise single sign-off software, and other applications which use accessibility frameworks to access information. Besides some security fixes, we can also tell you that Mac OS can now access the services sub-menu directly from Firefox context menus, and on Windows, the elastic overscroll effect has been enabled by default. So when two fingers scrolling on the touchpad, or scrolling on the touch screen, you will now see a bouncing animation when scrolling past the edge of a scroll container. You can check out the full list of improvements, new features and upgrades by following the link in the description. The next thing is Babylon 6.0. So uh, this release brings a lot of improvements, rendering enhancements and exciting new features. We will mention a few of them. Babylon uh, GS 6.0 brings a complete overhaul of the new physics API. More power, more control, more features, and it is easier to use. Power and performance are at the heart of Babylon GS, and the version 6.0 comes up with the new performance priority modules that produce up to 15 times faster rendering and performance. These new modes give developers new controls over dialing up the performance of their experience by choosing between backwards compatibility mode, intermediate mode, or aggressive mode. Choosing between these three different modes give you varying levels of functionality and flexibility. What is more, with Babylon GS 6.0 you can now render fluids. This unlocks truly breathtaking imagery thing in the browser running at 16 FPS. This new version of Babylon also brings a completely updated screen space reflection model, allowing you to render in stunning reflections through your scene with the highest performance level possible. And I think that's it for today, for front and news. Yeah, that's it for today. We hope you enjoy it, guys, and see you next time. Next time on our channel, you can also watch other videos and... Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Have a nice day, guys, and uh... have a great weekend. Yeah. Bye.
Bye.